Hello again, Bill Dowd from Skedaddle Humane Wildlife Control. Uh, one of the many questions we get is, there, what, how do I know I have raccoons in my attic? Well, for the most part, you are going to hear noises. Raccoons can be anywhere from 25 to 35, 40 pounds. They are a large animal that is walking back and forth in your attic space, trampling down that insulation. And in some cases, they'll trample it right down so they're you know, a quarter inch above that drywall. Raccoons are nocturnal. So that means you'll hear the noises in the evening, uh, whether it be a scratching, a, sh a slow shuffling walk. And then in baby season, you're gonna hear a lot of vocalizations. Babies uh, will have a constant chattering or chittering noise. A lot of homeowners, when they call us, they'll say, oh, it sounds like I have uh, birds in my attic. But in all actuality, it is baby raccoons. So uh, if you start hearing noises, uh, especially in January, February, March, that's mating season. With raccoons, you can hear some scratching, you can hear chewing as they're in the attic space, chewing on electrical wiring and support joists. And then there's gonna be some times where you don't hear noises for, for a day or two. That does not mean the raccoons have left. Once they're in a structure, they're always gonna come back to that structure. That is one of their multitude of den sites in a neighborhood. Typically they have seven or 10. So if a raccoon is out one night and you know down the block, it's getting daybreak, rather than walk down the street in broad daylight, they'll slip into one of their alternate den sites down the street. So just because you're not hearing noises for a couple of days doesn't mean they've left. Once you start hearing noises, that's one of their den sites. We need to humanely remove them. If there's babies, we will hand pick up those babies, take them on the outside, reunite them back with the mother. But you as a homeowner, be very, very diligent and listen for those noises.